This is the Moen one-handled laboratory faucet and drain kit. Begin by laying out all the pieces for easy access and identification. In this case, I'm installing onto a sink top that hasn't been fixed to a vanity. If you have this situation, it makes installing a lot easier. If the sink is already fixed to a vanity, you will have less room to work, but either way, the installation is the same. Lay the faucet out in this manner. Take the gasket and slide over the supply lines and the mounting stud. Do the same with the O-ring. Install the gasket into the faucet body and then assemble the O-ring seal to the gasket. Next, thread the faucet lines through the mounting hole in the sink top. However, if your sink has three holes, then the escutcheon will need to be installed first, as in the following diagram. Since this top was custom made, I had only one hole drilled. Next, go underneath and install the mounting washer with the rubber side up. This is done by threading it onto the mounting stud. Note the orientation of the washer. The open side faces forward, that is, it faces the bowl. Now take the mounting nut and thread it onto the mounting stud and secure it into place. Using the included installation tool, tighten the mounting nut securely in place. Use a screwdriver for leverage. Once secure, return to the top and begin flange and drain kit installation. Start by cleaning the drain opening in the bottom of the sink. Next, take the waste seat, also called a flange, and apply a liberal amount of sealant. I'm using 100% silicone adhesive. Place the flange into the sink drain opening and press into place. Next, access the drain hole from underneath. Take the drain body and thread it into the flange through the sink drain hole. You will need to firmly hold the flange while hand tightening the body into place. Note the orientation of the body in relation to the back of the sink top. While holding the body in this position, Tighten the drain nut using channel lock pliers. Tighten until the drain gasket shows a good seal. Also, you will need to make sure you clean the sealant from the perimeter of the flange after tightening. Next, take the tailpiece and wrap the threads with Teflon tape. Assemble the tailpiece into the body by threading it into place. Tighten well by hand and if using a pipe wrench or channel locks, make sure you do not over tighten and damage the threads. The waste plug, also called a stopper, is now ready to install. Insert the stopper, making sure the hole is facing the back of the sink. Now take the lift rod and insert it into the designated hole through the faucet body. Back under the sink, the lift rod will be inserted into the lift rod strap. Assemble in this manner about halfway up the rod. Once in position, temporarily tighten into place by hand. Final tightening will be done at the end when all adjustments have been made. This step could actually be done later, but I like to have a good idea on placement of all mechanisms as I go along. Next, remove the retaining nut from the drain body. Once this has been removed, you will need to peer inside and verify a white plastic pivot rod seat. This will look like a plastic washer with a beveled side that is facing out. Assemble the pivot rod in this manner, making sure the end of the rod has been inserted through the stopper hole on the inside. The following diagram illustrates this position. Return the pivot rod nut and tighten into place, making sure the rod can still pivot. 
Check to make sure the stopper functions properly when the pivot rod is moved up and down. With the pivot rod positioned downward, I identify the hole on the strap that will intercept the rod. I make note of that hole and remove the strap from the lift rod. Next, obtain the pivot rod clip. Squeeze the clip to align its holes. Insert the end of the pivot rod into one hole, then catch the designated hole in the strap, and slide the rest of the way through the second hole in the clip. The end product should look like this. Once again, squeeze the clip and slide the strap up the pivot rod until it aligns below the lift rod. Return the lift rod to the strap and tighten into place using a wrench. Check the function of the stopper by pulling the lift rod up and down. At this point, I installed the drain pipes and P-trap. This assembly will vary for each application and will be given attention in a separate video. Next, I'll attach the supply lines to the water valves. Prepare the valves by wrapping the threads with Teflon tape. Thread the supply lines on by hand. Each line should be marked hot or cold with a color code or with a tag. Secure the valve using channel locks and tighten the line using a wrench. Make sure you do not over tighten. You can ruin the threads and the seal. If the drain has been plumbed, the water valves can now be turned on. Make sure you check all connections for leaks. Test the hot and cold positions of the faucet as well as the function of the stopper. Once satisfied with its performance, the faucet can now be used. 